Here we are in chapter five review exercises with the story problems, numbers 41 through 44. Okay, so Henry stands on a platform, there's Henry, and he shoots his rocket in his 10th grade science class. He found that the motion of the rocket can be described by this equation. Yeah, um, where y is the vertical distance and x is the horizontal distance. So x is here, y is up there. If this equation were to be graphed, find the x-intercepts. So if the ground is like down here and he's up on this platform, the x-intercepts are going to be here and then where the rocket hits the ground there. And it's a problem that looks like that. How far away from the platform hits the ground? So we're looking for this guy right here. So we, let's do it. We've got to hit find where y is 0. So we're going to write this out. 0 equals 60 plus 28x minus x squared. Okay, can we, let me see, do we know how to solve that? Oh yes, this is a polynomial, this is what we've been doing. So we've got to get it equal to zero, good, and now we have to factor it. Let's put it in its normal form. Uh, x squared, that's a negative x squared, um, plus 28x, plus 60, all right. Okay, can we factor out it? Ooh, this leading coefficient is a negative one, let's factor out the negative one. And then we get x squared plus 28x. Nope, not plus 28x. That's a minus 28x minus 60. Okay, now what's left is three terms. And what can we do with three terms with the leading coefficient of one? Yeah, we've got to see what times is to a negative 60 and uh, adds up to negative 28. So 1 and 60. Uh, one of them would have to be positive and one of them negative, so that would add up to a negative 59. 2 and 30, if one of them were negative, that'd give us a 28. Oh, that one's the one. Let's write these out just for completion. 4 and 15, 5 and 12, and 6 and 10. Uh, so it looks like it's going to be 2 and 30, where that's a minus and that's a positive. So this breaks down into x plus 2, x minus 30. Yeah, and then a negative one out there equals zero. So now we factored it. So now we've got to set each piece equal to zero. Negative one equals zero. Ah, that doesn't give us an answer. X plus two equals zero. That gives us X equals negative two. <laughs> so it looks like the platform actually comes out about to there and it would have hit at negative two feet, but that doesn't even make any sense. You can't have negative two feet behind the platform. And then uh, X minus 30 equals zero gives us x equals 30. Ah, there we go. That's where that guy is, is out at 30 feet is where the rocket will come back down and hit the ground. Good. Number 42, a triangle has an area, so it's just, an, it's not a special like right triangle or anything. So it has an area, area is going to be one half base times height. So we need that formula, the area is 14 square inches, good. That's gonna be one half base times height, and it says the height, so H is uh, three inches more than the base. So one half base times height, which is three plus B. Okay, uh, let me see, if we jump this guy through, we get 14, equals one, three halves B plus one half B squared. A lot of fractions involved. Let's clear that out by multiplying everything by two. And then we'll get 28 equals three B plus B squared. Yeah, that looks normal. That looks better. Ah, we have an equation, it's a polynomial. So now we have to get it equal to zero. So subtract 28 from both sides. B squared plus three B minus 28. And now factor. What multiplies to a negative 28 and adds to three? So we get one and 28. One of them has to be negative. So that would add to like a negative 27, uh, two and 14. That would add to like a 12 or a negative 12, depending on which one's negative. Uh, th three, no, four, and seven. If seven were negative, it'd be a negative three, so it must be a negative four and a positive seven. That's where we get a plus three. So we get B minus four and B plus seven. 
equals zero. Good. So that means, yeah, we take b minus four equals zero, and we get that the base can equal four. And we do b plus seven equals zero, and we get that the base can equal a negative seven. Well, yeah, the base of the triangle here can either be four inches long or a negative seven inches long. Negative seven actually doesn't make any sense. So the base has to be four inches long. Now, it, we also need to know what the height is, so we ought to put inches there. Base is four inches long. Height is base plus three plus the base. So the height is three plus four, which is seven inches long. Now, just because this seven and that negative seven look like similar numbers, that's not where we got the height to be seven. The height came because it's three bigger than the base that works. And yet you could try this, one half base times height. Four times seven is 28, one half of 28 is indeed 14. Excellent, all right, next one, number 43. Jill has a small treasure box that is six inches long. So this is its length. It can hold, now it's a box. It can hold a volume. Where's the volume equation? We're gonna have this one, so 43 is, uh, we have volume is going to be length, width, and height. So 72 goes right there, equals length, which is six, times the width of the box, and it says the width is five inches less than twice the height. So that's important, there's our width right there. 2h minus 5, and then the height right there. Yeah, look at that. We got this. This is good. This gives us an equation. We can do this. We could immediately divide both sides by 6. That's nice. So 12 is, distribute that guy in, and we get 2h squared minus 5h. Right, so dividing by 6 gets rid of that 6 right there. And then distributing the h gives us this. So set it equal to zero. 2h squared minus 5h minus 12 equals zero. Factor it, two times negative 12, that's a negative 24. One and 24, two and 12, three and eight, four and six. Which one of those would add to a negative five? If one of them is negative, eight and three. So we're using the AC method. So this is now 2H squared uh, plus 3H uh, minus 8H minus 12. Oh, we got four terms. Chainsaw. Take out an H and we get H. Oops. H parentheses 2H plus 3. Mm, let me see. Minus what can come out of an 8 and a 12, a 4. And we get 2h plus 3. Oh, excellent. So this is now, this is all equal to 0. 0 equals h minus 4. 2h minus 3. Oh, plus 3 there. So when we set these equal to 0, we get the two answers. h could be 4 inches, or h could be negative. Let me see. Subtract 3, divide by 2 negative three halves. Oh yeah, that works, that works. Four is an answer. Negative three halves? No, you can't have negative three inches for the height. So the height is going to be four inches. So let's find out what the other is. Width is two times height, which is two times four is eight, minus five is three. So width has gotta be three inches. So we have the box that is six inches, by four inches, by three inches, and that should come up to be 72 when we times them. Six times three is 18 times four. Indeed, that is 72. All right, last one. Jessie is mowing her backyard that is in the shape of a right triangle. So 44, we have a right triangle here. Now, if we recall, Right triangle has the formula a squared plus b squared equals c squared. That's important. Whenever this is a right triangle, that's what we have. So this side being a, b, c. Okay, it says the shortest side, this guy right here, is seven meters shorter than the second side. So let's leave b here and we'll call that our variable and this guy's going to be b minus seven shorter and the hypotenuse 
is 13. What are the lengths of these two sides? All right, let's do it. So we're going to stick this side squared, b minus 7, squared plus b squared equals 13 squared. Okay, you got to watch out. This is a binomial being squared, so this is b squared minus 14b plus 49. That comes from b minus 7 times b minus 7, and you super distribute in the middle terms. I should put a b up there. There we go. Equals 13 times 13. Plug that in your calculator, and you get 169. Oh, I forgot to add that other b squared in there. Shame on me. So this is b minus 7 squared plus b squared equals, now we get the 169. Whew, that could have messed up the whole problem. So the 2b squareds go together, so we have 2b squared minus 14b, and now get it equal to 0. Subtract the 169. Subtract the 169, and we get minus, 14 minus uh, 49 minus 169 is minus 120. We got it equal to 0. Now let's factor. Uh, looks like there's a common term of a 2. That'll help us get smaller numbers. b squared minus 7b minus 12. No, not 12. We're taking out a 2. Minus 60 equals 0. What's left here is a trinomial with leading coefficient 1. So uh, what times is up to a negative 60 that might add or subtract to a 7? 1 and 60, no. 2 and 30, no. 3 and 20, no. 4 and 15, no. 5 and 12, <gasps> that's our baby right there. And 6 and 10 wouldn't work. But yeah, this is b minus 12, b plus 5 to equal 0, and the 2 out there. All right, let's set each term equal to 0. So we have 2 equals 0. Now, that doesn't give us an answer. b minus 12 equals 0 gives us b equals 12. Oh, look at that. There's a nice answer. We, if, we, this, if b is 12, then this is 12, and this is 5. And the other option is that b could equal a negative 5. Well, if that were negative 5, then this would be negative 12. We cannot have negative numbers to be distance. So b is 12. Let's put that in bright colors. Equals 12. Yeah, there we go. And then this guy right down here is 12 minus 7. That means this guy is 5. And it would be meters. So be sure to put the M on those. 5 meters and 12 meters. Now, notice that this negative 5 and that 5, they turned out to be the same looking kind of number. But we did not get this, be this second side because it was negative 5 here. We got it because it was 7 less than the big number 12. Okay, there we go.